In terms of your involvement with the Daniel Johns um, case, why did you go to rehab to take a hair sample straight away? Was that part of his sentence or was it part of a voluntary thing that he did? Uh, no, that was part of a voluntary thing. So a- again, his legal team quite wisely determined that uh, we wanted something that reflected his current drinking pattern. There's a metabolite that we um, can detect in hair. The concentration of that metabolite represents their drinking pattern. Um, and so if you look at something like a three centimetre length of hair, that represents... From the root? About, from the root, that's right. So we're looking at the average pattern of consumption over the most recent three months or thereabouts. And with Daniel, we knew that he'd been drinking. He, he put his hand up. He was, he, was a, he was a lovely guy. He said, look, I've, I've had a problem with alcohol. But then when we went back, uh, I think it was about six months later, after he'd done his rehab, life, I guess, was, was back on track for him. And we showed that that alcohol had disappeared. I was able to write a report for the court that basically said, look, forensic evidence is consistent with what he is saying. Turned his life around. Um, he's doing well. Let's, let's, There's uh, no value to be added by jailing this person. No, that's right.